Go ahead and try this question. If you know your log rules really well, questions like these, though they may look intimidating, are not bad at all. But you got to know those rules, right? So know those rules or else something bad will happen to you. In other words, you'll get questions like these wrong. So what are your log rules? Let's just review these quickly. Uh, there are others, but I'm just going to talk about the main three, two of which are used in this problem. So if you have the log of some product, x, y, you can rewrite that as the sum of the logs of each individual part of that product. So in this case, log of x plus log of y. If you have the log of a quotient, it's the same thing, except instead of plus, you have minus. And if you have the log of something raised to a power, then you can rewrite this by putting the power out front and just taking the log of that thing by itself. Okay, so with these rules, how does that help us here? Well, we see that we're given two logs defined as log base a of 7 is r, log base a of 11 is s, and then we want to know what this is going to be in terms of r and s. So that should give you a clue that we're going to take this and break it down. We're going to break it down into log base a of 7, log base a of 11, then substitute in the r and the s, and that should lead us to hopefully one of these answers. Now, E is a trap choice. I mean, we're not going to get rid of it immediately because we should be able to solve this directly. But E is often going to be a trap choice because it's the choice for those who don't know what to do in the question. So they just kind of go with any, uh, they go with a random choice and they pick, pick something like E because they figure, oh, if I don't know how to do it, then nobody does. But in this case, there is a way to solve it. So let's start with this, log base A of 77 squared. Well, the first rule we're going to use is this one. Instead of doing 77 squared, let's just take this, move it out front. So this becomes log 2 times log base A of 77. Now we look at 77 and we might see that, wait a minute, 77 is just the product of 7 times 11. So I can rewrite this as log base A, or 2 log base A, of 7 times 11. Well, now the third rule comes into play or the first rule, I should say, that the log of a product is just the sum of the logs. So I'm going to write this as 2 times, parenthesis, log base A of 7 plus log base A of 11, right? I've just broken this up following exactly this rule. So now we make our substitutions because this is equal to R and this is equal to S by our definitions above. So now we're going to substitute those in. We're going to get 2 times r plus s, which is the same thing as 2r plus 2s, and that would be choice D. So know your log rules and questions like these aren't too bad. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.